Okay, this is part two of um, the Joomla segment on uh, Joomla 2.5, Virtual Mark 2.0, how to add a product and edit your attributes. Um, in the last one, I showed you that uh, I edited the, the color attribute here and changed it to, um, uh, to this layout. I got rid of the info tag and um, this is what it looks like on the front end of the of the website now that we have that there um, I still need to uh, change it from euro to US dollar and you see there's this uh, annoying no additional charge if there is no additional charge I just like it to show up as uh, zero so um, the first thing I'm gonna do in order for this to make more sense is to change the okay so to change the currency from the uh, back end of the site we're going to go under the shop um, menu button here and then we're going to click on shop which takes us to um, these three tabs up here you see the vendor additional information and general user information so we're just going to uh, CFLAQUOTIX we're just going to rename this shop if you have a different shop name and company name you can enter it here uh, QUH um, you can just leave the uh, local um, URL alone for now. The um, currency, we're going to change it to uh, U United States dollar. Um, we're going to list of accepted currency. We only want to accept the US dollar, so we're just going to um, change it like that. And we're going to be using PayPal as well, so um, whatever they want to pay with, it's going to be converted. They're going to have to pay the conversion fee to US dollar if, if you are accepting international orders here. Images, you can remove the shop images. This will probably show up on your invoice. Um, so uh, we can, this is going to disappear. So we can add a, a different image to the, uh, uh, you can add to the cart. Just um, browse your local computer, um, click upload. If you want to see that immediately, just click save and you can see the changes that you've made. So there's the new logo. Uh, we've gotten rid of the uh, sample data there. Okay, so you can add additional tributes and descriptions, and um, you can add your terms of service here uh, if you want. Okay, these other two tabs have um, your personal, uh, like private details, like your email and you know your login uh, name and password. That you can change. Uh, you can change that in a Joomla. Um, main administration area as well. Um, we're going to leave that alone for now, but all your your shop details like your address, your phone number, and things like that that you might want displayed on your invoices, you can enter that on these pages here. So if we go back to the front of the cart, you'll see that we have uh, US dollars here, but these numbers aren't exactly the same, $32.64 if you remember we put in 25, 50, 100 and I think um, 200 I'm not sure uh, so what we're going to do is I believe that the tax is being added um, with the um, with the product so to change that we can go over to our configuration and we're going to go in here and at the very least we want um, there's some pricing area right here where they we don't want the final sales price to show up uh, in the cart, we, we don't want to confuse people, So, um, although some people uh, want to have that in different countries, they have different laws. Um, what we'll do is we'll show the sales price without the tax added. And you might want to add your tax based on uh, state only, uh, so that might not even apply to everyone. And If you're selling wholesale, it definitely wouldn't apply. So this, this would be appropriate in this case. Um, we'll save that. And then we can go to the, um, I believe under the product taxes and calculation rules, there's a 9.25% tax We can that has been applied to uh, all the products. We can, um, uh, we can edit that later, but for now we're just going to disable it. So now if we go back to the uh, front of the cart, we'll see that, um, so when you,
okay, the prices were still showing up a little bit funny because in the back end, there was a discount being applied to everything too. So I um, disabled all of that. And now it makes perfect sense. If the product was, um, the base price was $100 and then for different uh, sizes, you have additional costs. So if it was extra large and there was a $100 surcharge for the extra large, I'm sorry, $200 extra. So would, the total price would be 300 so if we go back into um, the products and we click on fish tank um, underneath the custom fields again these are all additional charges so if we didn't want any additional charge there we could just um, we could just leave it blank let's say only for the extra large we wanted to charge an extra hundred dollars and for these colors, we don't want any extra charge, and we don't want it saying uh, that other that other thing that was coming up was no additional charge. Let's just leave that blank and see see what happens. In the past, I've I've edited the text file to get rid of that um, no additional charge comment. I didn't like the way it looked in the cart, but I'm gonna do a test here to see. I think um just so um, we see with small medium just just leave it blank and that'll get rid of the no additional charge if you don't want it there um, if you want to remove that any possibility of that coming up you can edit the a file in the back end which is a little bit more complicated there's the English uh, DVC you see for any of the colors there's no charge only when you click on extra large there's an extra hundred dollar fee when you add that to your cart now you can just go view the cart and um, there's no taxes showing up so if you wanted to configure the taxes you could do that um, and that's going to I'm not going to cover that in this video because taxes is going to be different based on every um, every unique circumstance so as a quick review if you wanted to add additional attributes you'd go here into the custom fields and then um, create what it is first um, you can play around with the different with the different types of um, you know when you're creating one you can let's open one up here you have these types you can play around with these different types and see if that's what it is you, you have image types and just different types here um, for the most part I'm using the cart variant and um, I'm clicking yes as a cart attribute and I'm leaving uh, published yes and I'm leaving everything else no and I don't use the tooltips but if it's a complicated thing you could always add a tooltip here and they can click on that and get a uh, see what little information you're leaving them uh, 